we're back. But our 1965 Clark Cortez motorhome doesn't seem to be. Do you think it's a carbigan? The answer may be, probably. But we have a different job to do. Join us, because last time we were giving our Steel Beast a bath. Ew. It's first bath. But this time, we're dropping our oil pan, which means more. Ew. But that's not the only part that's disgusting. Because we're gonna need a good clean too. You've got oil all over your hair, and to be honest, it looks like you were bathing in it. So you have this to look forward to, because it's our dirtiest job yet. I'm gonna don you like a little chicken. Please do. <laughs> you mean like a little duck. Yeah. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This is Sandy and I'm O, and we're overhauling an antique RV before seeking our greatest adventure yet. You can come along too, so subscribe and roll up your sleeves because there's a lot of work ahead. And, oh. Hi. <laughs> first thing we need, first thing. <laughs> Are you gonna face me? And come on. First thing we need to do is run the engine for 10 minutes to get the oil hot. After about 15 minutes, it was time to crawl on the floor and drop the oil. And after a bit of Yorkshire muscle, our filter was slowly taken out. Seconds later, whoever made this exhaust deserves to be taken outside and shot. Andy's roaming eyes fixated on another problem, our poorly fabricated exhaust. The flange between the manifold and the exhaust is a different size, so the bolts are bent in with like this. And he goes into all the reasons why during a rant for an extended time, which I'm just gonna say the exhaust is a job we may return to, but we're here to change the oil, drain the filter, and replace our pickup pipe. So the oil pan calls our name because our old gasket failed, which is why we have a buildup of oil leaking out. Okay, can you put them on please? Yeah. Why? Because you're going fishing. I need you to get the sump plug out of the oil. Because you dropped it in there. Yeah, but the gloves are too small for me. Oh, is that why I'm doing it? Because the gloves are too small for you. Yeah. Is it going to be hot? Is it going to burn me? No, if you're quick. And <laughs> All right, come on. Oh my gosh, it is really hot, Ann. Well, yeah. It's probably not even in here, is it? Probably not. Oh, there it is. No, no, don't drip it on the floor. I'm not. Okay. I'm a pro. So what do I do with this now? Wrap it in the towel that's on the floor. And then I can take my gloves off? Yeah. Did a great job. Someone had to drop that sucker in to begin with. With the pan drained, we could move forward with our work. Oh my gosh, and we're undoing all of those. Yep, all the way around. Okay, I wanna do it. Let me get this one out then, and then we'll swap. Your turn. All right, Anne. But we need to move the starter motor. Okay, well, let me take him out on both sides. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you were doing the other side. Well, I changed my mind. <laughs> I need like a shorter extension. Do you need help? Uh, I need something to rest this on. Rest the starter motor on? Yeah. It's heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember how heavy it is. One uh, reconditioned starter motor. This is for you. Crack on. Oh heavy. my gosh, it is. <laughs> Should have told you that before I passed it, yeah? <laughs> uh, so we'll check in as we progress. Can oh, you look at that. You've got a <laughs> danger sign on you. And why do I have it? Uh, 
because you're gonna be the apprentice fitting it. Look at my muscles. It actually looks like it do have muscles. See how snug this is. Oh, that's just really snug. What's underneath my head? Oh, that's bit. Oh, it's a bit more. You got him? Yeah, but there's a wire attached. What do you mean there's a wire? There's a weird wire? Oh, it's the gas. Oh, it's, oh, it's the, the oil. <laughs> I should have took him out. I was like, what is that? Okay. okay, I think we got it out. Wow, this looks so cool. So what is this that I'm looking at? So, this is the first time I've ever seen the bottom of a V8. Why is this disgusting? Because... Everything's been sitting on it because it's the lowest point. This is the, this sits in the bottom of the sump. Yeah. So, but this is what's disgusting. This is yeah. like built up. But can you see there's like a little lump of black on my finger? Yeah, but this is all lump yeah. of black. Well, this is what settles in your engine. Like that's grime, carbon. It's old oil that gets big and it's just... Disgusting. Not good for your engine. Okay, here's the plan. Did I get this? Is this oil? Well, you've got oily gloves on as well. Well, is it but from yeah, my oily you, gloves or because I put no, my... No, you've, you've got oil all over your hair. And to be honest, it looks like you were bathing in it. Like, Are you serious? Yeah. Oops, ah. sorry. Yeah. Can you get out of my hair? Will my hair be okay? Will it make yeah. it really dry and nasty? It might be a bit nasty. It'll take a few washes, but we'll get it out. What do you mean it'll take a few washes? Like, you'll have to wash it really well. It'll come out. Just maybe wash it with, like, Dawn dish soap. Oh my gosh, you're right. This is going to be like really hard to get off. You're going to be like one of them little yellow ducks in the advert. I don't feel cute like that little yellow duck in the advert. <laughs> so I'm going to clean him. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of work. Inside and out. Okay. I'm going to make sure that all the gaskets off the bottom of the engine. I'm also going to make sure that our replacement gasket is going to fit. And then you're going to clean that I'm area. Gonna clean, I'm going to clean it and I'm going to clean the bolts. Yeah. Um, up at the garage. Yeah, we've also got a new pickup pipe, which I want to check is the right one as well. So that's gonna go be team. Go team. Ew, you're oily and gross. Ew. What is it? Oh my god, that looks horrendous. That looks completely clogged up. Let's take a moment. This job now turned into the best one we've done thus far. And now it should drop out. Because this clog pipe would have prevented oil from getting to our engine and that would have equated to major engine problems. So this is our oil pump. This is all the sludge on the top. Look how all this mesh is blocked up. This is the one of the channels. That's full of crap. With Andy continuing his pickup pipe inspection, I pulled the tarp out for deep oil pan cleaning. Y'all, look at how disgusting this is. This was inside. Disgusting. Two. Are you gonna clean yourself up a bit? What do you mean? I thought I looked beautiful. You do look beautiful, but you look a little bit filth. I mean, I feel filthy. You look filthy. You are disgusting. 
You're equally disgusted. Like... Ah. I know, it's like into your pores. Ow. <laughs> I know, and I didn't even get it off. You're pretty gross. I mean... Ew, please don't use the same gross cloth that I just dug into your pores with it. If you could see your own face, you'd know that would matter. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gross, and we oh. have painted our sump, but... We're gonna come back and install it after it's dried. So we're going home and I get a shower, get this oil out of my hair. Feel gonna, it, feel it, Anne, no, feel it. No, no, feel it, feel it. Yeah. That's our plans tonight. Hope you have great plans. Also. <laughs> the next day, gaskets were installed on our restored oil pan. I think this one actually fits onto the engine first because the other one was kind of deformed round it. Squish round. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, that looks so that. nice. And then... That looks great. Sweet. Beautiful. Let's rebuild the oil pump, the new oil pump, and get that installed. Perfect. Before we install our oil pump, I'm gonna pour some oil into it, just through this hole at the top here, and this'll just help lubricate the pump for when we first turn the engine over. She's in. Beautiful. So we need to drop the start mark next, and then we can reinstall the sump. Try that, and then try. I'll do. How you doing? Okay, that should be held in there. Okay. Ready for the oil filter? Yes, please. With our oil pickup pipe, pan, and soon that. filter installed, we could move to our last step, which is filling all back up with fresh oil. This oil has high zinc content, so it's better for our vintage V8. Okay, let's put the oil in and hope we ain't got any leaks. Glug, 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 glug. Drink up, you happy little Cortez. <laughs> a horse fly. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's a horse fly. It's normally me freaking they out hurts. about they, boats. It's just they hurt. I know they do. They're really nasty I'm just, creatures. I'm just glad he's trying to eat you and not me. Should we try and fire it up? Or shall we do a preliminary leak check? Preliminary leak check. I mean... I don't like how you're touching something. Is it oily? No, that's not oily. That's not oily. Oh, yeah, this I'm looks really shiny. Okay, let's fire it up and see. Should it start up nicely? I mean, yeah, it should do. Nicer? It should run nicer, yeah. Okay. Might sound a bit ropey first second because all the oil drained completely out of pretty much everywhere. So. Okay. You ready? Yes.
we'll nip that sump up a bit and then we'll let it run for five minutes to get nice and warm and then jobs are good. Them love. Stupid Cortez making all that noise. I hate it when it does that. I knew that was pretty bad anyway, so I'll get some of that ordered. Um, I think I'm probably going to order another sump gasket just um, for the drain plug, just because that shouldn't leak like that little drop. But they're only a couple of dollars, so a new one of them will sort that out. And we'll move on to the next issue. Which is this. It's still there. But that smoke and this... Backfiring issue is not next in the list of plans. When are we gonna fix the miss? How will we fix him? We have, well, we have a replace the distributor and the condenser, I think it's called, inside, and the, and the leads, and that might fix it. Um, it could be the fueling from the carburetor. Um, I, I don't really know. I, I'm kind of... I don't know yet what's causing it. But we do know what's causing a different issue. So we take off one wheel to replace our ball joint. You ready? And we pull out all tools for the hardest job yet. We yeah. had the masculine beat it to death. Can we just have like the delicate female touch now? <laughs> yeah. Just so you aren't left waiting? How's that feminine touch working? <laughs> the answer, it didn't. So we theorize other ideas and other tools. I mean, it has to work. It's the only thing that we have to get well, this Well, we've off. got that and then we've got fire. I like playing with fire. Yeah, I do. But that's our next story. <laughs> 